Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I'm going to teach you linear models. So before I start the video, just to let you know, you can also download the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. So let's go straight into it. There are two tanks on a property, tank A and tank B. Initially, tank A holds a thousand liters of water and tank B is empty. Tank A begins to lose water at a constant rate of 20 liters per minute. The volume of the water in tank A is modeled by V equal 1000 minus 20T, where V is the volume in liters and T is the time in minutes from where the tank begins to lose water. On the grid below, draw the graph of this model and label it as tank A. So in another word, we need to draw the graph for tank A. So first of all, we know that the model for tank, tank A, so V equal 1000 minus 20T. Now, first of all, we know that the vertical axis is the volume, which is going up by 100 liters. And the horizontal axis is going up by five minutes, each major grid, okay? So the easiest way to do is we substitute T is 0, 5, 10, 15 and so on. Okay, we just need a few points because it's a straight line. So then we just connect them together. Okay, so first of all, when T is equal to 0, so I can just put in a calculator. So we go 1000 minus 20 times 0. So it should give me 1000 so 1000 so i start from here 1000 and the next one we can use t is equal to 5 so i should change 0 to 5 so which is 900 so when t is 5 v is 900 so which is here and the next one is 10 so I just go 10, so I go back, I change that into 10 instead of 5. There you go, 800. So you can see the pattern, okay, it's a straight line. So next one is going down because remember each time it go down by 20. And then when T is 15, so I should get 700. And it's just the same process if you're not sure. So we just put on calculator and we see this. And now what I do, I just use ruler and connect this point together and I extend the line, of course. So I just join this point together and extend the line. There you go. So this is, I just label it, tang A. So done. Now next part, part B. Tank B remains empty until T equal 15. When water is added to a constant rate of 30 liters per minute. By drawing a line on the grid on the previous page, or otherwise, find the value of T when the two tanks contain the same volume of water. So we just quickly draw a graph first for tank B. So first of all, tank B, okay, V, the volume of tank B is equal to 30 liters per minute. So which is called 30 times T. That is 30 T, right? So therefore, it's the time is start at 15 minutes later. So when T equals 15, the volume of tank B is still equal to zero. So we'll just put zero here to start with. But then if we put T equal five minutes later, that is when T equals 20. That is when T is equal to 5. Then I just put in a calculator. So we just go 30 times 5. So that is 150. But then if you look at the graph, 150 is roughly here somewhere. But then it's not accurate. So better if we choose every 10 minutes. So which is 10 minutes later, that is t equal to 25. So I just put in a calculator. So I ignore this, so I put t equal 10. So which is 
equal to 30 times 10. So that it give me 300. So 25 is equal to 300. So I just make note on this. And the next one, it should be another 10 minutes later. So which is 35 here. So that is when t is equal to 20 minutes later. So that is 30 times 20. So which is 600. So 600 will be here. There you go. So now I can just join these points together. Otherwise, I can work out one more point. Okay. So let's do that. So another 10 minutes later, which is t is 30. So t equals 30 minutes later after 15 minutes. Okay. So I just put in a calculator. So that is 30 times 30. So it should give me 900. So there you go. So 45 is 900. Now I just use ruler and connect these points together and it just extend the line a little bit. Okay. So I just use different color. So start from here. There you go. That is tank B. Just label it. This is tank B. Done. Then we need to answer the questions. Find the value of T when two tanks contain the same volume of water. So that is the intersection here. So that is, so it go up by one minute. So 29. So part B is T equal 29 minutes. Last one, part C. Using the graph drawn or otherwise by the value of T when the total volume of water in the two tanks is a thousand liters. So what that means is we need to find out the volume of tank A and tank B from the graph and the add up must give a thousand liters. So just look at the graph. So therefore, the first thing is we know that a thousand liters here and tank B is still zero, right? So if we add up, give a thousand. But then from the question here, T must greater than zero. So we cannot have that answer. So let me just clear that. So now I just use ruler. You don't have to, but ruler, it's just easier to read. That's all. So now we go across here. See, you can't add these two because this is a thousand, right? It add up, does, that two volume doesn't add up to a thousand. So I just go across it. If these two here add up, doesn't give you a thousand either because 600 at less than 200. So it cannot be a thousand. And we look at these two points here, add up doesn't give you a thousand either. And this one here, so 600 at 300 doesn't give you a thousand. And the next one here doesn't give you a thousand either because it's 720 uh, 20 or 40 and you add 200 doesn't give you a thousand. And we just go here. So this one here. So this is two points. So that means 100 here, 100, and this is 900 liters. So therefore, these two add up give me 1,000 liters. So therefore, this is T is equal to 45 minutes. So the answer is T is equal to 45 minutes. There you go. Now, if you learn from this video, please do not forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How did you go? So let me go through them with you, okay? First one, what is the hourly rate charged by company A. So in another word, we need to find the gradient for company A. So we know company A is this one here. So we just need to find the gradient of it. And we know that the company A is start from zero dollars. 
So therefore, this is 3. And let me just construct a rhyme or triangle first. And there you go. So to find the gradient of this, so we need to find the vertical rise and horizontal run. So the gradient is equal to rise over run, right? So from 0 to 360, so this is 360. And then the rise is 360 and the run is 3 hours. So therefore, to find this gradient, that will give you the rates, okay? So which is 360 divided by 3. So which is 120. So that is $120 per hour. There you go. So for part 2, so we need to find the um, equations for the company B, right? So we know that the booking fee initially is $75. Otherwise, you can work out from the graph. So let me just clear this first. So we know that the company B is this one here. And we know that is starting from $75. So let me just construct a triangle, triangle first. Let me just do this. And what we need to do is we just need to work out the gradient first. So the equation we need to work out C equal MX plus B. So we know B is the Y intercept. And in this case, the Y intercept is 75. So we know that is B is equal to 75. And then we know that M is a gradient. So remember, if the line gone this way, the gradient is positive. So therefore, we need, just need to work out the rise and the run. So the rise is from 75 all the way to 360 here. So therefore, to divide the distance from here, from 75 to 360, is which is called 360 minus 75. So let me just work that out. So we just go 360 minus 75. There you go, 285. So which is 285. Let me just write this down, 285. And over the run. The run is horizontal run, so which is 3 hours divided by 3. Now I just put that in the calculator, okay? So it's just go divided by 3. 95. So M is 95. There you go. So th this means that C is equal to 95, which is M, X plus B, which is 75. So there you go. This is C is equal to 95, X plus 75. Now last one. A mini bus high for five hours from company B. Calculate how much cheaper this is than hiring from company A. So in another word, we need to find the cost for company A and we need to find the cost for company B and we just need to find the difference, that's all. So we know that company A, let me just write this down. So for company A, so that is $120 per hour and then we just time by 5 hours. So we just go 12 times 5 is 60. So that means 600. Otherwise, just put that on a calculator. Then company B. So we know that the cost for company B, C is equal to 95X plus 75. So X is the number of hours. In this case, it's 5 hours. So now I just substitute that in. So 95 times 5 plus 75. So now I just put that on a calculator. So I just go 95 times 5 plus 75. There you go, 550. So dollars, of course. So, so you can see company B is $50 cheaper, isn't it? So let's just, me just show working out because we need to show working out, okay? So $600 minus $550. So that is $50. So you go, therefore, so therefore, we just write $50 cheaper. For company B. There you go. 
Thank you so much for watching. Bye.